What's up, Broke Ass Nation? Today is just going to be another uh, simple update video, uh, mainly on the 300TX build. But I'm going to touch on a few other things while I'm at it. So uh, let's go ahead and get into it. Alright, so uh, like I said, uh, this update is mainly going to be over some stuff on the 300. Um, I'll touch on the other stuff afterwards. So, first off, I wanted to show you guys, if you haven't seen on the social media, finally made an intake for it. So, yeah, not too shabby. I know it's held on with zip ties right now, but, you know, we'll get there when we get there. So, uh, this is a Vibrant Performance Elbow. Um, shout out to them, honestly, because nobody hardly makes reduction elbows. So, yeah. Went from a 4 inch, which is the uh, throttle body size, down to this 3 inch. Use some uh, three inch Summit Racing uh, air intake piping. And this is a Summit Racing filter. So, seems to suck the air pretty good. I mean, it also, it's clearing pretty well. You know, it's nowhere near that pulley. So that's good. And then, down here we do have some space between there you know I got I'm using uh, this bracket for the radiator you know like I said it's zip ties right now but you know eventually we'll uh, make a more permanent solution I also still have plans on trying to run it down in through here somewhere maybe and coming out down here um, just get a little extra uh, cooler airflow, I would say. So, yeah. Um, there's one thing I finally got done. Um, trying to think. Uh, the next thing, I did uh, finally get some rubber on here. If uh, I didn't mention that already. Yeah, you probably can't see it very good. I went with some... Uh, Firehawk Indy 500s, you know, should be a good tire. I mean, they seem fairly sticky, so yeah, we'll see. Um, so yeah, I, I can drive it now. Uh, bad thing is, I wanted to uh, kind of have some of that in this video, but um, Ohio is being very temperamental right now with their uh, rain. So, yeah, it's just like, it's so hit or miss right now. It's like, I, plus, you know, I don't have a hood. Wouldn't mind driving it in the rain, really, if I had a hood and, you know, everything, like, I wasn't so exposed on this. So, uh, yeah, it's just, it, there's such high chances of rain right now, and then even on the days that don't rain, it says there's a high chance, and you look outside, and it looks like a fucking tornado is going to hit. But then it don't rain. So, yeah. So, um, I will, I will have some videos of, you know, me driving this. Um, it seems to pull pretty decent. I mean, obviously I'm not full throttling it yet or anything, because I'm still trying to break the clutch in. And honestly, break the motor in a little bit. Um, let's see... I've put maybe like 10, 15 miles on it so far. It's just been around the country block a few times, uh, mainly. So, but it, like I said, it seems to feel pretty good. I've been trying to watch the Holly system and uh, see where my throttle position is. And I think the most throttle I've gave it is like 35 to 40%. And, uh, I mean, it feels like it's, it's picking up pretty good at that point, even. So, you know, I'm running it up to about 4,000 RPM. Um, I haven't really went over that yet. Like I said, 
Still just trying to break everything in. I don't want to be too hard on it because I really don't want to have to replace shit. Because um, let me tell you, if I have to replace that clutch, this whole thing has to come out to get to that transmission. Like, you know, there's, there's no room. There's, there is uh, zero room to get to those uh, transmission bolts now. So, it is what it is, but like I said, I'm just going to try and keep it a little easy. Um, the other thing I did fix was, uh, I don't know, if, I don't know if I mentioned this in the last video or not. For some reason, the last time I drove it, um, it was holding when I would come out of, like, I'd be neutral coasting to a stop. It would hold at 1800 RPM or around that, you know, somewhere in that general area. And it would just kind of sit there like that. And sometimes it would be like a solid minute, maybe even a little more before it would finally come down. So I finally was able to figure out what was going on. Um, so I knew it was obviously because of this air intake because when I put it on, it started doing that. I didn't do it before so what had happened was because it's getting more airflow and everything I had to change some settings on the uh, idle air control I, I honestly can't tell you I don't remember exactly what setting I changed but um, it was at like 40 and I changed it to 25 and voila it worked call me your new tuner. <laughs> uh, yeah, no. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, uh, things are starting to, to get there. Um, I'm just going to be trying to drive it and trying to get those miles on it. Um, it hasn't, if I'm driving down the road, it hasn't seemed to want to get hot. Like, it'll usually run under 200 degrees. So, once, once it sets for a little bit though, idling, it seems to kind of get a little hot. I, I, I don't know if it's getting too hot yet, really. But it gets to the point where like I don't want it to get much hotter, so I shut it off. Um, I think the hottest I've let it get up to is like 217, 2, 215, something like that. And I just I shut her off. So, um, I, I don't feel like it should get that hot, especially with my fan on there and everything. Um, I mean, maybe it will, I don't know. Uh, I'm trying to make sure the system's all burped out. Um, I feel like I might still have a little bit of an air pocket or something. Um, another weird thing is when it gets hot like that, it starts to make some... It sounds like belt noise, to be honest. But it only does it when it gets warmed up. Um, like, not warmed up, but like hot. Hot like that. Like, over 200 degrees. When it starts to get up there, it starts making that belt noise. But it's only really at idle. Because if you give it some gas, it goes away. And then when it comes back down, it'll start doing it again. Or, if you kind of like hold it at an RPM, it'll slowly work its way in and get louder and louder and louder until it hits a certain point, then it'll just stay at that, you know, loudness. Um, I haven't figured that out yet. I'm still working on that. So, like I said, working on trying to see if we even have, like, an overheating issue, maybe. Um, but overall, the thing's honestly running pretty good. Uh, driving down the road feels pretty good. Um, like I said, I wish I could really get into it a little bit more. That way, I, you know, I could kind of feel what I need to change on the suspension. But uh, so far, the suspension's actually feeling pretty good. Um, I did want to show you guys my janky ass setup here. So, there's my... Uh, Holly touch screen there. Um, I got to use that as my RPM gauge. 
because I hooked up the RPM gauge, the stock one, but because it's meant to be on a V6, it needs, uh, well, I'm assuming it needs some resistors or something in there to make it accurate because it's not exactly accurate. But the problem with that is being that I sit probably about right here. Yeah, you see, um, you can't really see the gauge there. Yeah. So I just have this on one of those uh, magnetic phone mounts. See? Okay. You know, works pretty good. Um, I actually bought another one. I think I'm going to stick it like up here or something. That way, as I'm driving, I can actually fucking see it. Um, I will say too, after, like I said, driving it a little bit, the, uh, the Holly system actually is really good at keeping it in the uh, target AFR while it's, while you're out driving and stuff. Like, it's, it's doing pretty good. I mean, I, I watched it the best I could as I was driving along and, you know, shifting and everything. And it honestly kept it like right there, like right wherever my target was, you know, within at least a couple points, which I mean, that's, that's great, especially for as little runtime and everything that's on this. I mean, I'm really happy with it. And like I said, we are going to have some video where I will be driving this, but like I said, Right now, Ohio is a little soggy, and it's been difficult. Um, I also, unfortunately, cannot drive it at night, or I would have it out right now, because it's pretty not wet out there. But the problem is how oh, I still got a headlight issue. Um, for some reason, one of my headlights is, it comes on, but it's dim, like, like the lights are visibly dim compared to what they're supposed to be so i don't want to try running those because i don't know what's going on um my luck something really screwy would go on and they would end up melting shit and catching on fire i, I you know can't have that right now but to move on to uh some of the other stuff i wanted to talk about just a few things um so, like I said before, this thing's not going to be going to LS Fest, unfortunately. You know, can't do anything about it. It will be there next year. But speaking of LS Fest, we're only a few days away from leaving for LS Fest. So, I'm really excited. Um, I'm not as excited because, you know, I'm not going to be taking this. But, you know, it's LS Fest. It's still gonna be a good time. Forecast is a little iffy. It's probably gonna rain at least one of those days. Who cares? LS Fest, rain or shine, still gonna have a good time, you know? We've got some good people going. Um, you know, there's, there's gonna be some cool cars. Uh, just a bunch of fun, so. I know uh, Ben was talking about possibly going into the Power Wheels Challenge. If you don't know what that is, they take the little kids like Power Wheels things. You know, like they, they look like little pedal cars. Yeah, you take that and they do a little downhill race. You know, full blown adults. So he was uh, talking about maybe trying to do that because he actually found a Power Wheels online that looks pretty much like the SS over there. So, yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Um, you know, uh, like I said, LS Fest is coming up, so that'll probably be our next video, I would assume. Um, my other news that I wanted to go over was uh, we have started recording for uh, Jake's new podcast. It's uh, Where's My 10 Millimeter Podcast. So uh, go check them out. Um, I'm going to start leaving their links in the uh, description. So I'll have a link to the Facebook. 
uh, on there and uh, you can find them on all kinds of stuff like Spotify and all the major platforms so um, yeah we have not well Jake has not released a video or video uh, so you saying that Jake has not released a podcast yet he's uh, just released kind of an introduction but he said the first one should be coming out pretty soon so I will definitely update you guys on that. And it's just a bunch of us just sitting around talking, bullshitting about cars. Um, we got some nice topics. You know, we talk about boosted stuff at one point, or well, power adders, because we put NOS in there too. Um, you know, we talked about imports versus domestics. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of different topics we've been going over. So, yeah uh go check that out and um oh yeah the other news is uh jake's transmission should be done really soon um he was really hoping to have it done and he could drive his car to ls fest you know just so we could have a little fun on the way down but unfortunately it's not going to be done in time but it's just how it goes i guess they forgot to uh send some parts so you know it is what it is but yeah uh like i said really happy with the way this thing's going um you know we're getting there i'm hoping to have that mileage on it as fast as i can and then we're gonna have some real fun in it oh yeah yeah i know where some uh fresh roundabouts are so it'd be a real good test of the uh, suspension on this thing help me get it dialed in um, oh yeah one other thing before we go I still have not um, done anything with the computers over there yeah we're getting there one problem at a time <laughs> um, so yeah I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I do plan on trying to mount them to the back of the back seat. Um, we'll see what happens. But yeah, um, so we'll see you in the next video. Uh, should be LS Fest. So stay tuned. Keep up on our social media because we will definitely post some stuff on there during LS Fest for y'all to see. Um, but yeah, until next time, keep off those jack stands, stay broke folks. On behalf of all of us here at Broke Ass Motorsports Ohio, we'd like to thank you for watching our video. If you enjoyed our video, please let us know by leaving a like or comment on our video. If you're new and would like to stay up to date on things, please subscribe or follow us on our social medias. The links to those will be in the description down below.